Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are doing something a little bit different. We are doing a full face with Dollar Tree. And I am super, super excited for this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching it. And don't forget to hit, hit the subscribe button for the 1000 subscriber giveaway. And also, if you want to get notified every time I upload, hit the little bell notification. But yeah, if you guys want to see the rest of this, then keep watching. Okay, so everything I got today came out to a total of $21. So let's just, let's just jump right into it. I already uh, put some moisturizer on to act as a primer, so I was just letting it dry, so I've already done that. So we are... We are a little up close and personal. So this is shade O2 that I got in the liquid foundation. And it says to shake. All the ones in the store were like really, really settled. Oh yeah. I am gonna use a brush for the foundation. That is a lot. It is super liquidy. It actually smells really, really good. I feel like this would be really good if you have really dry skin because it's a really really wet um, it's a really really wet foundation <laughs> it's so liquidy and it is so streaky I shouldn't have even put it I shouldn't have even put it on my eyelids so it is definitely a lot darker than do you guys see that? It's kind of, it's like too bright in here. But in the mirror, wow. <laughs> it is a lot darker than my skin. I mean, once it starts drying, it's got like pretty full coverage. It's like, it's like medium. But I can't get over how good it smells. Like there definitely has to be some fragrance in here. It doesn't say if there's fragrance or anything. I'm gonna try and bring that like farther down on my neck. Okay, so now we're going to try the concealer. All right, so it's got like a nice little, nice little foot applicator. Oh my God, <laughs> it's so orange. I 
I don't know how fast this dries, but we're just gonna go in. <laughs> it's like separating everything. It kind of, the colors of, the colors of all of the, like, makeup kind of remind me of, like, a really long time ago when, like, I first got into makeup. Like, everyone wore their makeup, like, super, super just, like, dark on their faces and the rest of them was, like, really, really, I don't know, just really pale and, and that's just what it reminds me of. I mean, it's not doing a horrible job at all. It's not doing a horrible job at all. I'm sure it could be worse. So the sponge is like, it's really hard. It is a really hard sponge, but I am going to go wet it. Okay, so I wet the sponge and it actually grew like a lot. Like, if we were to try and put it back in the packaging, it wouldn't fit. So, it grew a lot. Now it's a lot more squishy. So, we'll do the other, we'll do the other eye now with the concealer. Oh, I can see it in the tube. It is so thick. I feel like I have to go in many times. I think I just put on a lot more. It literally just picked up everything off the bottom of my eye. No, it just... It just grabbed everything. Can you guys, like, don't, don't mind my dark circles. But can you guys see the difference? I'm, like, right back down to my own skin. That is crazy. So we're just gonna take the brush. It's so orange. And I tried to also look for a setting spray and there was, there was no setting spray. Let's use the butt of the sponge. Okay, so it worked. It worked a little bit better when I did the brush and then the sponge, but so, so far, we're looking a lot different in the face to the neck. I'm sorry I keep looking up in like the, the monitor, but it's like I'm trying to see what it looks like on camera and I can see that my chest is so much more pale than my face. Okay. So I'm going to use the little Ariposa uh, contour palette. Oh, it smells like that makeup. It literally smells like that makeup you would have gotten when you were like 10 years old in like those really like cute girly makeup things and it was just all like play makeup. That this is exactly what it reminds me of. This looks lighter than my face, 
Look at my face has like such a dewy look to it right now. Oh no. It is, there's so much fallout to this. Can you guys see like right here? Look at my brush. There's so much fallout. Oh, it doesn't contour bad. We're not going to judge. We're not going to judge on the fallout. I don't want to tap too much off. Can you guys even see what I'm doing? I feel like I need to like crouch down. There we go. Get my whole, get my whole face in here. not it's not super dark but it's not I feel like you would reach the pan in this super super fast we're gonna we're gonna just get that neck a little darker <laughs> to match a little bit more okay so for the uh, blushes I really wanted to go with the e.l.f. one, but I think this one's more pink, and this one's kind of looks like the contour palette that I just used. <laughs> Don't mind my fingers, my fingernails, if you've seen them. I have like half my nails on and half my nails off because I keep getting in the middle of filing them down and then I get busy and so then I get left with half my nails. So it is super pigmented as well as the elf one. So that's that's the blush. Now should I use the little applicator or should I use my own? Let's try it. Let's try it with the applicator, okay? Ooh. No, I can't. I can't. I gotta use my own. <laughs> Look at that! What the heck? It like hardly... Oh. What did it just do to my brush? Nothing is coming off of my brush. There we go. Okay, it is a lot <laughs> It is a lot worse on camera than it is in the mirror. Oh my god. You guys my brushes are gonna need like serious cleaning. Oh, look at that. Look at how pink it is. That is crazy. My brushes are gonna need a lot of cleaning after this. So now we're gonna go in with the Araposa highlighting palette. And where is my, okay. It's not that pigmented in the palette, but let's see. Ooh. That did not a bad job. You guys see that? That's pretty good. The concealer literally didn't cover up anything under my eyes. Concealer literally has come off onto the brush. It won't focus, but. Mm. 
Not that we need any more on the forehead. Holy highlighting. Highlighter. This is, yeah, okay. Anyways, give it a chance. I never even used the pressed powder. So let's see. It came, that's nice. It came with a little protector for the mirror, which is, I like that. So let's try and use the pressed powder. I'm gonna try and do like where I haven't, I'm gonna use a smaller brush for this. I'm gonna go in with this little guy right here. This is not blush by the way, this is the way the brush is made. But I'm gonna try and go in not even picking anything up so I'm just gonna go in over my eyes oh it is working do you guys see this face god that actually didn't do a bad job in taking away a little bit of the dewiness that we had going on. This thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the Ariposa um, brow, eyebrow mascara. So this one doesn't have any, f oh my goodness, this is like two, com oh my god, two completely different colors. No. As I've told you guys before, I don't like eyebrow pencils. Okay, so my eyebrows are like... I'm not impressed. This eyebrow stuff, right into the garbage bag. <laughs> I don't like it when my eyebrows look any different than just being set in place. I just don't. Alright, so we're going to go in with the little eyeshadow palette. I have never done eyeshadow with you guys before. I always skip over it. I hate eyeshadow. I don't know why. I think it just makes my eyes feel super, super heavy. And I don't mind my natural eyelids, but this is the palette. We're going to go in with this bottom corner right here. Again, a lot of fallout, not going to judge. Okay, we'll go in with this one, this one right here. We're gonna, we're gonna get a little daredevilish with this. This one right here. Let's see. That's actually not, that's actually not that bad. I'm kind of digging the whole eyeshadow thing, guys. I'm going to go back in with the, the corner one that we started off with and I'm just going to go in with this little, uh, this little angle brush right, right here. You know, you can see it. Yeah, that one. We're going to go in with this little angle brush.
it's brown. It really pulls the skin. I don't, I don't like that. So the next thing is we're going to put on these lashes. Okay, so we got the lashes on. They're very dramatic. They were the only, they were the only lash that the dollar store had. Not a typical lash that I would go for. I mean, these lashes, I can think of other YouTubers that I watch that they would look phenomenal on, but myself, not so much. <laughs> now we're gonna go in with the Mariposa uh, mascara, see what this does for our lashes on the bottom. I think, though, I'm going to take the little brush that came with the eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take off the wings because I'm hating the wings. I took off the wings and they came off like super easy, <laughs> but I'm liking this a lot better. Okay, so this is the Lip Smacker. It's actually like, it's a fairly decent size. But yeah, so the bottom, is just a tiny little, it's so small. Oh, it smells, it smells like lip smacker. Uh, and then the top is just a chapstick that we are gonna throw on. It's white. It makes your freaking lips white. <laughs> So this is the LA Colors Moisturizing Formula. 